CBAI. Hey all, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for watching today. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to very quickly go through three tools you could in use to turn your AI music into music videos. And so I want to give a big shout out to my user at, uh, uh, excuse me, not user, uh, viewer at UnlockedBox3369 for suggesting this video quite a while back. So thanks for your patience since uh, it took me a while to put this video out there, but we are finally here. So I'm going to try to keep it really super quick so let's jump into it and I'll show you I am on the first one which is up here rotorvideos.com I did like this quite a bit so let me show you two that I've created and then maybe we can just go in and make one or a new one ourselves very quickly uh, if you can tell by the theme of me saying that a lot so the uh, first one I created was pretty awesome down here it says testing one two three and essentially what you do is that you uh, pick like a um, like a vibe for your video if you want to call that call it that uh, like a where it will um, intelligently pick up on the beats of your music and the style of your music and then um, according to various clips that you've chosen out from the collection or uploaded yourself it creates a music video for you that changes the screens and things based on the the actual like sound file of your music so I really liked how this came out and I just did this really quick with several you know, a couple of clips I picked and then it just automatically chose a bunch that were it thought were related. So uh, check this out. So it's up here. And then, of course, there is some editing tools, but I want to keep this super quick. So I'll just play it and show you. Okay, so there's one example of what something you could create with it. So I'll go back to my videos here. I also, you can make a lyric video. So essentially, you'd upload your music, put in your lyrics, um, copy paste straight out of Suno, um, and then you know do your editing to remove the tags and whatnot. Um, and then do these. Um, there's some features here to control the way the templates look and which videos you want to upload. I'm gonna skip through that and just go straight over here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So check this out. All right, so there's another example of it um, in video, uh, excuse me, in rotor videos. So um, if we wanted to make a new one, let's just try it and go in here. Something I really like about this tool is that it's very geared towards music creators. So um, it's got these things to make, for example, Spotify Canvas video, Apple Music videos, mu uh, Apple Music album motions, etc., etc., lyric videos, music videos. So let's try to make a music video. Uh, click on this. Um, uh, YouTube testing and then let's go to next and then uh, I would select a track so I will just pick the one that I already did before that's I made in Suno and then I will choose the style of my video which is what I said the vibe so um, let's just pick something quickly maybe the silk smoke one all right I'll choose that and then I can choose the shape if I wanted it to be on Instagram or a short maybe but I'll just choose the the wide style. Then I would go in and pick some clips. If I had my own, I'd upload, but I will just use their library today. So um, let's just pick, um, just pick some random stuff today, just for the purposes of making a quick video. Maybe um, this one, and uh, maybe the black and white guy, and the spider web, and maybe uh, this nature one and uh, I'll just throw in this beach too. Okay, so it'll pick the rest of them for me unless I wanted to pick like 30 clips, which we don't have time for today. So 
I could add more. I'll just click choose the rest. So it's going to do that. Awesome. So my clip loaded up. Um, what I did um, off the screen here is all I did was I clicked the preview my my track. So it took several minutes to render it. Um, but here, let's go check it out. Okay, so there's another example of how you could use rotor videos. I really like this tool. It's awesome. I may end up using this and posting some videos on this YouTube. So, um, so again, that's rotor, uh, rotor or rotor videos. Rotorvideos.com is where you'd want to go to. Let's check out the next one, which is called Video Bolt. Now I'm already logged in. As you can see, it says Automated Music Video Maker. Let's go in and try and make something real quick here. I like this tool as well. So. Uh, Let's try making um, a lyric video. How about this one? And uh, so you would uh, pick what you want. And then this one has some interesting technology with it too. So I will pick the 16.9 format. I tend to use that. Go in and edit it. So it'll be loading. Let's do the same thing and name it YouTube testing for today. Create the project. Okay, and now I need to add my track in here, so I'll add a song. I think I already have something in my library. Let's see here, imports, uploads. I think that's where I need to go. So I'll choose my, uh, let's try this goofy goodbye one. All right, how do I pick it? There we go, select it. Okay, I remember, so this is, so you can, um, down here on the screen, you're going to see number one, number two. It's giving you a lot of different options to preview, and it kind of like repeats itself over and over. So um, uh, this, you could use it to pick like what section of the song you want to preview in your video. So I'm going to close that. I need to pull up some lyrics. I actually need to um, put those in here one moment. OK, so I'm going to paste my lyrics in here. And then I need to remove my tags, so I'll do that real quick. All right, and then I'll fill from lyrics. Um, this tool, you're going to have to line up your lyrics. So I just like the other one, actually, in the lyric videos, but I just want to do this quick, so we'll skip through that part. Uh, but you could line them up here while you're um, setting up your video. And then it will say creating lyrics file. All right, I think I can close now. Just a quick thing, I jumped back into my lyrics editor because uh, it doesn't line them up very well, at least so far I haven't found that to be true, so I had to drag over each line of text like this and bring it over. So when I'm editing, it'll look like this. Um, so it will take you some time in this tool, I feel like, so check it out. This is not goodbye. This is not goodbye. This is not goodbye. Okay, so I'll save that. I'm not going to do the whole thing, and then I'll overwrite it. Um, it'll say creating lyrics file. So then I will go back, and it should show me what it would look like if I was playing the video, uh, lyrics here. This is not goodbye. This is not goodbye. This is not goodbye. This is not goodbye. Okay, so essentially that's the point. Um, you could make the lyric video. Um, this one did seem like there was a lot of um, you know editing that you would need to do. You could change like where you wanted to put the different um, pictures and everything. So there's that. Something that's cool about both of these tools is you can get in and change your fonts if you want to, and you can even do a brand kit, I believe. So you could change your color scheme. And, uh, and then down here in the effects, you can do stuff like adjust how the video and the animations work. So that, that I liked as well. Let me just jump in and show you a couple of other videos that I created in here already. So I will exit the editor. And then I'll go to my templates over, oh, excuse me, my projects and my drafts. And then I tried a couple of other ones. So this is the same song. Check this one out. It'll load up and then another example where I like this one because it's very 3D and kind of interesting looking, especially with the spaceship. So so 
So essentially what I like a lot about this video bolt is these cool tools with like the backgrounds and then they have sort of like technologies that people built or like uh, uh, like templates and things that do stuff like that intelligently as well where like my spaceship is kind of like bobbing to the beat and it created a different feel to the song with the video. And then uh, I also have one more I wanted to show, or actually I think I have two more, let me see here. This one was kind of cool too. So I, I liked um, this kind of like 80s synth wave style vibe. So check this one out. Echoes of the future closing in so near. Synth wave pulses wipe away the fear. Crafting catchy lines makes the moment last. In the persona where presence meets the past. Okay, so that one was cool. That one was not a lyric video, but um, I actually edited like and added my information as you can see. And then um, uh, I, I even changed like all the colors in the background by using the uh, theme, what is it, customize. And there's a couple of different themes you can use as well. But if I went over here, I added some of my own, like my uh, like the font you see in the beginning of my videos. So that was cool. Um, tried that and then, you know, use that for the words down here. And then I use like the default font and put in my own um, uh, channel name here. And then you could cha change more of the effects within the the uh, the video itself down here, which is cool. The last one I'm just going to very quickly spend a moment on. It's called Veed. And to be totally honest, I did not like this one at all for my purposes. I think this is good if you're in a business and you have marketing material you want to put out. And lots of YouTube, like, or excuse me, like Instagram and other... Um, stuff in your feed and you want videos with it for your marketing and you have a team of people it's much more built around that so i could see a marketing team using this but straight up music video maker um you know i i played with it a little bit i'm no expert on this but it felt to me like when i when I, my initial impression is like this doesn't really offer me anything different than doing something like clip champ or some other free tool um now I get that it has AI. That's one of their big things they're pushing for. Is a, there's like a lot of AI tools here, but um, like the editing and like like compared to the like Rotor, which just has can get you up on running on a lyric video, a music video, lyric video. It's got like it's really built in, and then like these Spotify canvas videos. I liked that that it was much more suited specifically to music, and this one I didn't really feel as much um, about that. So. Um, so a little bit goofy, but something I did like about um, Veed is that it has these AI avatars, so you can put in like words and lyrics, and then have this person speaking like it's it's an AI. But it's it was an interesting use case. So you, if you want to get really creative with other AI tools, this might be one that you'd want to try out. But the editor, it was kind of like okay, you know, I can do this in other tools too. So I mean. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like being super critical, but that's how I feel about it. So it, it didn't fit me. I wouldn't continue using it specifically for this. Like I said, maybe if it was a marketing thing, but I'm trying to make music here and music videos and stuff. So this is what it, this is what I did. I, very quick run through. I didn't get really in depth with anything, but um, check it out. This is not goodbye. Goodbye. This is not goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> This is not goodbye. goodbye. This is not goodbye. goodbye. This is not good. Okay, that's literally it. Don't judge me too hard. I I just wasn't a huge fan of this tool, and they paywall a lot of stuff. So I mean, I'm already paying for other stuff tools. So um, I wish them the best of luck. It wasn't a great fit for me, in my opinion. So that's all I have to say about Veed. It's it's not my thing. So um, but you may you may find some interesting use out of it with the tools and. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments which one of these you liked if you use them. And uh, if you have any corrections, let me know. I would love to know. Um, but other than that, yep, these are the three tools. Again, it is what the first one was called Rotor. The next one is called Video Bolt. And the next one is called Veed. So far on just a few playthroughs and messing around with stuff, my favorite is Rotor. My second favorite is Video Bolt. And my third favorite is Veed. And that's just a quick three ideas for tools that you could use to create music videos with your AI. Thanks again for watching. This is Cam with CBAI. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Take care.